Hey dads, a warm welcome wherever you're connecting in from today. Uh, this is tip number four of our 10 top tips for busy dads. I hope these little broadcasts are an encouragement to you. If they are, please share them with others. Uh, welcome any comments as well as we go along. On our first broadcast, we covered what it means to manage our time well. Our second broadcast, we looked at being a man of truth and trust and principle and integrity and not to be known as a liar and what we pass on to your kids by being a man who is trustworthy. Then yesterday we looked at being a pastor of our homes and that abdicating that responsibility on the others. What does it mean to be a good shepherd in our own homes? Today I want to look at the whole idea of self-esteem and self-worth for us as dads and also of course what we pass on to our dads and also to our spouse. Uh, there was an article in the New York Times Magazine a few years ago by a psychologist called Lauren Steller. The title was The Trouble with Self-Esteem. It was a truly groundbreaking article and she reported what experts have known for years. The significant thing, she says, is that there is no evidence that low self-esteem is a big problem in society. She quotes three current studies into the subject of self-esteem and all have reached the same conclusion. And it states that people with a high self-esteem possess a greater threat to those around them than people with a low self-esteem and feeling bad about themselves it is not the source of the country's biggest and most expensive social problems. And she goes on in the article to say that it is going to take forever to change people's points of view on this. Why? Because we we live in a society today where we're continually driving people to say, have a high self-esteem of yourself, a high thought, think of yourself high and not low. It's all about me and what you think of yourself and don't listen to what anyone else says. Don't care what anyone else says. Set your own standards and work towards them and build up your own self-worth, your own self-confidence and it's a mess because it doesn't work. And the problem is, whether you're, as this article says about the problem is high self-esteem, the problem is self-esteem full stop. The problem is when you are trying to like work from a basis of like self, always trying to please yourself, it's impossible to do that. I can't live up to my own standards. It's impossible to do that, never mind someone else's standards. So what we need to do as dads is we need to identify that it's not about health self-esteem, not about low self-esteem. It's not about our self-worth in ourselves. It's about the value system that God has placed on us, that God loves us and that we find our value system in how God sees us. He sees us, dads, as his kids. And let's remember, fatherhood is not a job. Fatherhood is a relationship. God doesn't have the job of being a father. It's the relationship he has with his children and it's the relationship that we have with our children that gives it value. The important thing for us as dads to gain today is this, that we don't run on a basis of self-achievement. We run on the basis of focusing on God and pleasing him, reporting to him our heavenly father every day. And truly, it's a game changer when you get your self-worth. Paul actually said this in Corinthians. He basically says, I don't care what anyone thinks of me. In fact, I don't care what I think of me because my, my, my governance is not set on me. It's not set on others. It's set on reporting to God every day. And so dads, we need to find a, a new way to embrace how we see ourselves before God. You know, I, I got fed up years ago with going to men's conferences where they're continually putting other people down, continually pointing the finger at men, say, put yourself up by the boots, do better, do better. You need to do this. You need to stop doing that. And it's, it's almost as if we're living our lives as dads on a basis of trying to appease other people. We're trying to win favor with God, win favor with others. And when actually it's the, it's the other way around, the idea of being a, having a transformed life is that we start with, there is no courtroom judging you as a dad. That the court has been settled. The case is over. Christ has redeemed you from the curse of the law. His righteousness is it is upon us. We The slate is wiped clean. And so we move from a position of glory to glory, from victory to victory, 
from courage and confidence to courage and confidence because of what Christ has done for us. The verdict has already been settled. We are redeemed from our past. We don't have to earn the favor of God. It's the only religion in the world that it's not based on our own self-worth. It's on everything that Christ has done for us. And so how do you articulate this then as a a top tip for a busy dad? Well, it's as simple as this. Dads, we've got to find our value system and what God thinks of us. And on the basis of that, you go and be a better dad. Because you know how much God loves you and that relationship of father as a father empowers you to be free, to be the dad that God has called you to be. And impart that onto your kids. It's not about investing in your kids' self-worth and building up their identity. Like Social media is a mess for that. Help them to see that their identity is in what God thinks of them. It's the same for your wife as well. You know, Help build your wife up to say that her beauty and her identity is not in her how she looks and what jewelry she wears and all those kinds of things. Keep telling your family they're beautiful because they're the children of God and they're loved by God and they have the DNA. They have God in them. They have Christ in them. And that's what makes them beautiful and that's what makes them special. So some thoughts on uh, self-worth. It's not about high self-worth, low self-worth. It's about having a God-centered identity. Hope that helps. Love your loads. Shalom, shalom.